Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly, the Lord's mercy, I tell you, it endures until the end. Are you glad today? Hallelujah. Has God done something amazing for you over this past week that you need to tell somebody about? We serve a great God that has done great things. We serve a God that has no equal. He is the great I am. Hallelujah. He's the God that is, was, and shall be for every evermore. He is the true and the living God. Beside him, there is none other. The prophet said, I see the Lord high and lifted up. Hallelujah. Seated on the throne and the train of his robe fills the temple with glory. Hallelujah. How do you see God today? Do you see him as the great one that he is. There's no God like Jehovah. Hey, glory. There is no God beside him and there's none coming after him. He is again the true and the living God. And I love him today. And he did great things for us. And he's continuing to do great things day after day after day. He is showing forth his glory in his people. Jesus declared, he said, I must go back. It's expedient that I go back to the Father that I send the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Jesus said, greater works we would be able to do huh? because he goes back to the Father. Oh, I'm excited about the Lord today. I'm excited because indeed he has shown himself to be faithful. He has proven himself to be true. He's the God that shall never leave us nor forsake us. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord has always raised up the standard against him. And that brings me to the text that I want to talk to you about today, found in the Gospel of John, the 8th chapter. I want to read in your hearing one verse. It's the story where, you know, the woman had been caught in adultery. And all of the Pharisees brought her and threw her before Jesus and said, now what you going to do, Jesus? Now what can you do with this adulteress? Hallelujah. But I'm glad that we serve a God uh, that can take a mixed up life. Hey, hey, he can take a drug addict. Uh, he can take a prostitute. Uh, he can take a murderer. Uh, and God can use them uh, for his glory. Hallelujah. And isn't that what he did for this woman? It says in John, the gospel of John, the eighth chapter and the 12th verse, Jen, then Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Hallelujah. I came to let somebody know God can do anything. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for this story of the woman that had been caught. But God, Jesus is able to, to save anybody. Hallelujah. And transform their lives. So let us see God in this text, Father, that Jesus can do all things. Hallelujah. Father, let your people be edified. And I pray, Lord, that you would be glorified in the matchless name of Jesus, uh, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, I came to remind somebody that God can do anything. Hallelujah. He took the life of this messed up woman and he brought the life. Aren't you glad that heaven came down? Jesus said, the kingdom of God is here. Hey, ha, hey, when Jesus walked on this earth, the kingdom of God is here. What is that? God's rule, his reign, his authority. The Pharisees brought the woman and they wanted Jesus to condemn her. But Jesus, as the gospel says, did not come to condemn, but he came to save. And isn't that what he did? He turned the light on in that dark situation. Hey, and he let man know that there's no darkness that's greater than him. There's nothing that Jesus cannot do. There's no sin that Jesus cannot heal. There's nobody 
body uh, that is so messed up uh, that the light of Jesus cannot fix. Hallelujah. Do you have some loved ones that are messed up? Uh, do you know some friends that need Jesus? Hallelujah. Walk in the authority that the Holy Ghost has given us. He said that we shall be witnesses after the Holy Ghost has come upon us. Walk in that power. Let the world know that the light has come. That light is Jesus. Hallelujah. And Jesus lives in us big. Hallelujah. And because he's living on the inside of us, we can let the light shine. We are the light of this world. Why? Because we have Jesus living inside of us. Glory. And I want you to know that God can fix the situation. If you would yet put your trust in him, knowing that he can do all things. Hallelujah. Know today that God loves you. Hallelujah. He sent me to tell you, and I love you, and I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, walk in the light. No darkness is greater than the light. Hallelujah. And keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sin. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.